Hello there friends and welcome back to part 39 of my Pineco Farm Let's Play version 1.4 and we are starting to seed some oilseed radish get the first layer of fertilizer down actually two once we cultivate that and then when we seed it with whatever we're going to grow here that will uh, be the last coat so we can sell all our liquid and solid fertilizer so that's good I like that oilseed radish so uh, yeah I'm just going to hire a worker here I'm gonna make sure that's on oilseed radish too. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna be jumping around for a bit, but my main uh, thing today is to get the slow bee production up. So that will be a task. And this guy, I gotta get him some fuel. So I did park some of the uh, equipment. I cleaned it up a little bit. Actually, I want to jump over to that guy because. Yeah. These need to be unloaded. Gotta get production up, you know. Can't have that. No, sir. That's the one thing the uh, telehandler comes in handy, or the wheel loader, with this, because I don't like that bump there. It's the only thing that kind of messes me up. Because with the front loader, you can just reach in and grab it. So, I'm getting that uh, DLC coming on the 9th. Are you guys grabbing that up? The big bud pack? I'm going to be reviewing that as well. It looks really good, actually. It is a bit expensive. $20 is uh, $20 Canadian. It's a little steep for DLC. And I usually don't buy DLC, but for this game, I will. And another thing I'm kind of waiting to come out is cattle and crops. That looks really good. But I mean, it's really delayed, too. But uh, I didn't pre-order that. But when it comes out, I will certainly will be grabbing that up. Because that looks like it's going to be really cool. Apparently, the graphics are even better. And... The gameplay is just a little bit more realistic. Well, we won't know until we try. Alright, so you guys are all done. I'm going to shut you off, sir, for a minute. And how you doing? Squeeze a little bit more in there. Let's take you over here and fill you back up. That's up and running. I'm going to have to empty that dry fertilizer soon. So yes, this is my one hour long episode today. Okay, you're filling up. Now these scales are filled. I have to get on that. Why can't I move? Oh, I'm stuck on that imaginary lip. There we go. I'll just run this right on over the storage there. No hurry. Get on the slow beat pack. I want to get that up and running today. I really like that mod. Placeable mod. Alright, what's next? Some raspberries. Sounds good to me. Let's throw our beacon on it. Oh, you're not finished yet. Okay. We can hold off for a minute or two. While we deal with some strawberries. Grab it up, son. Pull it forward and back a little bit. There we go. Give me that. Okay, I wonder how we're, uh... We're gonna need curtains soon, I know that. And, uh... Curtains, 22%. Got lots of manure in there. Water's fine. Empty pallets getting a little low. So they're all pretty much the same, so I'll have to... I'm fine for now. I gotta get that tanker up and uh, fuel my harvester. I wonder if I get a tractor around here. There's probably one at the BGA, yeah, you can see it from here. I'll just 
just put this right in front of the raspberries or remind myself that, that is basically filled. You know what? I think I'm just going to speed up time for a microsecond. So that fills up. It's getting late there in the day. Come on. Oh, that's... No, I'm not going right back down because I get a feeling that that's probably it or something. Yeah, the curtains are gone. That would be it. Um, you know what? There's only one crate missing. I'll take it. I love this lift. I must have said it a hundred times now, but I really do. It's so much better dealing with these pallets. This little monster. So I do have some cardboard and pallets up there. I just got to get them uh, packed up in the cargo bowl. I wonder if I have any in storage here. I don't like the, you know. Okay, anyway, we're done with this. So we'll just jump around a couple more times and see. Forks down. Turn that off. Okay, yeah. Alright, so we do have some cardboard here. I don't have a semi here, do I? I don't think so. I just want to see where everybody's at. Oh, the slurry. Yeah, I got to deal with the slurry. That is full. I'm taking you on down to the BGA. So we got some uh, pigs the last episode, and we got them all dealt with, fed and everything else. We were making some power food here for the cows, some forage. Or mixed ration, whatever you want to call it. And we have the uh, pig food master down there up and running. So we're just trucking right along. Oh, yeah, I forgot this guy's a little slippery. Oh, well. Do you guys color coordinate your uh, tankers too? Like I'm using, like, this is for slurry, so I'll black, right? I usually use blue ones for water, and I'll use uh, gray or white for fertilizer, red for fuel, just so I know what's what. Really, it doesn't matter, but... down here. We got a tipper full of manure here we can deal with. And get that semi up to the bar uh, farm. And I can check on my fuel as well. We'll get at it. We got some time to kill. Okay. I'll leave you right there. Oh, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. What am I talking about? Turn that off. Might be wasting fuel now. Okay, so we'll get you dealt with. Oops. I'm going to uh, grab the rest of that manure. We're going to be swimming in this stuff soon. And next I'm getting the sheep. I forgot I had a mod for uh, cheap animals. I had to put that in there. I wish I would have known that before I got the pigs. But yeah, it lessens the cost. It doesn't cost as much. So that's always a good thing. Alright, let's boogie and get this dumped. Okay, you know what? I'm coming back for that because I want to get that fuel to go with. I'm all over the place, guys. It's just I'm starting to really multitask now because I get a lot of stuff going on. Those placeables alone will keep you busy. Especially those berry houses, man. But they definitely pay off because they just produce so fast. But you gotta be on top of all that stuff if you wanna maximize it. Alright, let's see what we have in here. So I don't know guys, I think I'm going to start taking this fuel up to the, up 
to the firm because when I dump it in there, the meter's not moving. I know people told me, like, there's an overflow. Like, it just keeps going, but I don't know. Like, I took some out, and then I put it back in again, and it didn't seem to move. Or, no, it did move. Like, I put it in past where it stops, but as soon as I started taking it out, the, the numbers were going down, so I don't understand that. Okay, anyway, I'm Gavin. Catch my drift. Drop you, sock. Head on over and pick up the poop. Bring that on next door. Then we'll get the poop wagon up to the farm because there was something up there we had to do. I kind of forget now. Actually, I'll bring this up to the farm. There's one up there anyway. It's all good. Look at the traffic. Holy moly. Everybody coming home from work, I guess. Farmer's day never stops, boy. Gotta keep on trucking. Day and night. You just hold off on the things you have to do in the daylight and get all the running around and whatnots done. Alright. So what did I need the semi for? I almost forgot now. No matter. Oh yeah. Cedar's up and running. Okay, we'll leave you here for a minute because I don't have to uh, jump around here. Alright, so I'm going to jump in the green machine here. Kick him up. I'm going to open up and see what's inside the Nick, the Nick Hick mobile. I said open. Yeah. Oh, that's all full of dairy. Okay, we have to sell that stuff. You know what, guys? I think we're going to put a placeable down. I'm going to put a sell point for that thing I reviewed not too long ago. Like the sell point for all these products. That would be a good one to put down because that's a, a customer, basically. So where would be a good place for this guy? I think I'm a little bit more centralized, like in the town area would be cool, or... That wouldn't be a bad spot, I guess. Uh, okay, I just paused it there just so I can make up my mind finding a place, but I found a good place right here. It's still in the downtown area. I just gotta remember where it's at when I go to bring the stuff there. I'm actually gonna do it soon because I have quite the stack of that stuff now, so... Okay. So that is put down. That's a pretty good spot. It's right next to this. It's uh, not grass. So, alright. We need you for anything? No. I need a semi up here. That's... I gotta get a semi up there. Okay. And that's what you're for. I do believe. Okay, I have to bring up my thing here because I kind of forget what that is. Work position B. Alright, and it's on pallets, I take it. Well, yeah, it would have to be. Okay. Let's go grab the other ones and we'll, we'll take a trip. I was going to move that log trailer out of the way too, but that's not necessary right now. fit a couple more on here actually. Only one? Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll just come back. 
Actually, wait a minute. Boom, boom. No, press V again. And B, yeah. On the other side. Okay, drop them for now. And I will grab all these. Oh, our sugar's getting a little low in there too. I'll have to fill that back up. Grab the pallets? No, that was pretty slick. Um, hmm, hold on a second. Check the back of this shop, there might be more pallets waiting there. get for this. Not interesting find out. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to tell you that I went and got the other uh, 90 gold nuggets. That's why I have the million dollars. So somebody was saying that uh, there were some of the gold uh, nuggets were inside houses or buildings or something and they couldn't get them, but I didn't see that all the ones I got were outside. Unless that was an older version you might have been playing or something. Alright, one more guys. I might as well grab the one here so this can get up and running again. Then I'm going to deal with those sugar beets really, really quick. Oh, two more pounds actually. I can just take one down. See, as long as I get these off the scales production can start off and get up again and I can get a semi back here so I should just drop them on the ground get away from this a little bit obviously kefir get some of that kefir they don't have that stuff around here I never heard of kefir before but somebody was telling me, I don't know if it's uh, in the UK or something. It's like a really like, thicker, more tasty yogurt. I don't know. Sounds good, I'd try it. But, unfortunately, not that I know of, anyway. Maybe I am wrong. But I think condensed milk is pretty much everywhere. Is that what that is? I can't see it. Yes, I think. 
Mango. Did I say mango? I don't know. Butter. It's butter. Okay. So we can't fit this one on, I don't think, no. But that's okay. We'll just put that over here with the other fellas. And we'll have to get those down there. I wanted to get those down to the, uh... The berry patch. Okay. Let's shut you down. We'll jump in the green machine here. Close that up. And we'll head on down to sell some dairy. I gotta get me a uh, refrigerated unit. The, there's a cargo bowl that has, I think I was saying that before, has a reefer inside it. Like a, uh, basically keeps everything cold. I know it doesn't matter, but just be cool. Instead of having your pallets all built up around each other, you have to kind of sort through them at some point. Especially if your placeables are all together. Okay, I gotta remember where that is, guys. Okay, I almost passed it, actually. Okay, I'm not waiting for you, dude. Okay, there it is there. Nice. Okay, let's see what we get for this. Not like we're not already rich. So she have that million dollar payday. Grabbing up those gold nuggets. In, in 2015, you got... Uh, I don't know if you got money. I think you just... Uh, it filled your silos, which is... I mean, that's probably a million dollars there anyway. Um, are I selling these? No, not yet. them, yo. Alright. So let's open the Hickmobile here. And we'll unload these suckers. Okay, back up a little bit because I got some room to spare back there. It's not right to the back. Uh, bring up my tool menu here. B button. And unload. Well, watch that money. 1373. Three. Well, it's going to tell me on the screen anyway, but I love watching this stuff disappear. Looks cool. Sell it on up. How much do you think, guys? Look at it going up. Woo! Oh, yeah. Daddy's going to get himself a field. Brand new field. That's what I want. And I want to buy a new tractor. I'm going to get that, uh, was it a class? The one with the uh, big tepper on it? That's awesome. I wanted to add that for a while now, but I just kept forgetting about it. What we got left? 34 minutes. We're good. We're on track. It won't take too long to set that up. I'm going to set it up a little differently because there's one building there that you basically put wood inside of it. And, well, you have to build it first. And then it, you make the beehives, but after you make so many beehives, you won't need it anymore, right? So you got to keep that in mind. And then there's one where you sell it. So you, you could put that one down away somewhere. You don't have to have them all on top of each other. Just to make it a little bit more realistic. It's nice going to different spots to sell your product. Instead of the same one all the time. And then plus you get different prices for stuff too, right? Which is always nice. Okay, let's see what we get here. Come on. At least 200,000. Oh, was I ever off? <laughs> 73,000. Oh, well. That's more than I had. Add that to the big uh, pot there. Let's take a look at the map here, guys. I wonder what feel. I would like to get four up there. Hmm, I bet you that's expensive. Okay, let's close this up. I'm not worried about it right now because that money's not going anywhere. Because I want to get some of those. Where's the way out here? I can just draw it. No, there's a hedge in my way. That's okay. Okay. 
Yeah, it was pretty, uh, some of those gold nuggets were in some pretty clever places, I'll tell you. But with the speed mod and the flying mod, it makes it pretty easy. I know I got them in 30 minutes, I must have. Some were a little like you had to kind of look around because he's, uh, they're inside something or... Where am I going here, guys? Don't mind me. I get Gavin, you know. I'm all over the place. I know where we're going at. We're back on track. Oh. Okay, stop. I hate how they get right up on you before they stop. Anybody with common sense would ease the brakes on, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'll have to check on my cedar as well. See how he's getting along. Man, I just love that Fend. The 1000 series, like the 1050. Man, I just love that. That's probably my favorite tractor next to the... Uh, my second favorite would have to be the Mountain Goat. That thing's a beast, too. Um, but I got lots of thirds and fourths. Okay, let's pick up some of this, guys, and we'll bring this on down to the berry patch. We'll pack up the Hickmobile here. Press V to activate. Get some cardboard. Now, I'm not going to fill up the uh, factory down there just yet because I want to get on that B pack. I kind of got a good right place to put it. Is that filled? No. Not even close, huh? Get in there. You too. Okay. Oops. There's all our lumber that we're going to use to make it. Ah, I can put that lumber in here, can't I? Hmm. I think so. If I can fit bales, isn't that the same size of a bale? Oh no, it's way bigger than a bale, what am I thinking? I could always try it, I suppose. But, first things first, to the berry patch we go. I love all this stuff we can have to do. Keep you busy, boy. You first start the game and you're just waiting for crops, see, like... It's a little slow at first until you get going, start banking some money. Then you're high rolling like me. <laughs> $1.5 million. Well, close to it anyway. Oh, very patch. Okay, boys, look what I got for you. Whole new shipping of just what you need. Okay. Keeping you busy. We're just keeping you busy. No messing around. Okay. So we will drop that. I should probably back up a little bit. Give my forklift some room when I go to do it. Put it on there would be cool. Okay. So. I'm going to take this back up there. Because. Oh. That don't matter. Don't have to be perfect. I'm going to leave that open to air out a little bit. And I'm going to boogie back to the industrial park and uh, see if I can grab up those boards. Because where I want to build it is kind of across the street and it's going to be a pain if I get to move all that. Put the forklift. basically want to put it where my pallet factories are. The production of it, anyway. Okay, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. Maybe this will work. Who knows? Well, most likely not. <laughs> it's probably something that you could fit there. Flat bed. Flat bed would do it. Yeah. This may work, though. Um, V button. Oh! Look at that! 
Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get out. I'll fix that. Okay, we better press V again, and then that, okay. So, out you go. Let's back up here a little bit. I don't think we'll pick that up there. Uh, how do we change that Z or Z? Now let's square bales. HD bales. How let's. Okay, wait a minute. We'll figure something out. Square bales. Let's try that. <laughs> no. Oh, we might be able to get quite a few on that way, wouldn't we? It looks kind of silly. Oh, they're not being wasted, are they? I hope not. Okay, wait a minute here. Oh no, there's oh, is there two there? Or there's one, two, three, four. Oh wow, I don't know if that's. I hope they're not just disappearing or something. <laughs> Whatever works, eh, guys? Wow. Get in there. Jeez, if that's the case, as long as I'm not like losing out on any. It's going to be weird when I drop this. <laughs> but I'll show you where I plan on building it anyway. Way over yonder. Yeah, it's basically the uh, pallet making factory. Right here. Okay. Apparently I didn't even need to make all this lumber. I tried putting trees to make this bee pack before, but it wouldn't work for me. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Okay. Let's unload you. V, B. Uh, what's going to happen here now? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ba-boom. Yeah, I, I figured something like that would happen. Okay. So we can get on this now. Shut you down. Jump on out. Okay. So, let's get some air here, and we will figure out how we're going to build this. Now, I'd like to put the beehives here so they can kind of go into the woods and do their honey business. So, let's set that up. Um, no, let's go back. It's the placeables, I do believe. Yeah, I'd like to get this down too, because that uh, you put canola in, that thing really pays off. But uh, anyway, one thing at a time. So I'm, you if you see my review, there's two different kinds of the bee houses. There's one here that makes full pallets, but it doesn't make it uh, as quick as this one. This one you basically grab them with your hands, you're like hand bombing it, but uh, it's a lot quicker. But this one's fine because it'll uh, give us a chance to do other things. So anyhow, so one of these we have to actually build it. Okay, so I just need access to the front. I want to put them in layers so I can, uh, and then put a gap between them, and I can run the pallets down the side, and when I bring the cargo bull around, I can just grab them. Good plan, eh? I thought so. <laughs> okay, so how does that look? Does that look square to the fence? That does. So once again, I can even put that in closer. Let's do it right there. And then we'll put, oh no, I'm definitely going to leave room for a forklift. Can I get a forklift in there? Yeah, I'd imagine. See, I should be looking at that from a different angle. Yeah, I can get a forklift in there. No problems. There, yeah, I'll put one there. And I'm going to put one right next to it. And right next to you. 
and right next to you. It's like a little bee housing unit. So how many of these should I put down? I want to get crazy here. Um, I think I'm going to keep going because these are only cheap, I do believe. Oh, no, they're not. They're 8,000. <laughs> I was thinking of the, uh, like, sales points. They're only, like, a dollar. Oh, yeah, I was a little off there. Oh, well, that's still not that bad. Uh, I hope to God I was putting down the right ones. Yes. See, bee houses that produce honey, blah, 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 blah. And this one. This one is for handwork. Bee houses that produce honey. So, yeah, I want to keep going with these. I wanted to put, like, two layers... And then I could just run the cargo bowl through the middle. And as I'm pulling the pallets off the scales, I can just like park them side by side, right? Okay, I think you catch my drift. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't. Okay, leave room for pallets. Okay, that looks cool to me. Oh, no, no, I gotta fit the truck through there too. Let's try that. Right there. No more. Okay, we'll turn again. I don't care if they, they don't have to be perfectly. Oh yeah, we're in the honey business now. Yes, sir. See, oh, I gotta be parallel to that one though, don't I? Okay, let's see, it's probably easier to do from this angle. So right there, thumbs some like somewhat across from that one. Yeah, looks good. It's hard to do because you gotta watch it on both sides. Okay, that looks all right, and of course. Ba boom okay that was quite expensive but look we still got point 1.3 million left yeah no no problems okay now we gotta hire somebody to get busy with those beehives okay so how does that look from the air I wonder well, we'll find out here in a second no, that's not half bad I just want to put the like as I'm pulling them off line them up right along each side here going up and then you know what I mean I bring the cargo bowl right up the middle and snap onto all of them and make for easy delivery wow a hundred and twenty thousand or I kinda of missed that okay so what else do we have here okay we gotta make the guy where he's gonna build them and then we're just gonna tear that down eventually I don't know how much that costs either. No, I want. Okay, there's the one that makes it, and there's the one that you produce the honey milk. Yes, and that's the sales point. Okay, fair enough. So you need to muckle on to you. No, not you. You. Okay. This is the one you have to build, I do believe. Leave room for the boards and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to this either. I gotta leave room for that. I gotta get a trailer in there. Can I back? Yeah. Zoom out a little bit. I don't need access to the back, I don't believe some of these boards might be in the way. That's not bad. Oh no, I need to get access to that side. Okay, that's better. I don't need access to the back. Okay. There, maybe he'll grab some of those boards, you think? Let's see. Did I lay that down? Yeah, there it is. 
Okay, so he's gonna make the beehives, and I will need my forklift. Here we are. Okay, let's see. These factories are all up and running. This is gonna be messy trying to deal with this. Somebody gave me a good hint and said, uh, we should actually do that. I'll try it, but spread the forks right apart, and then you can bypass the pallet altogether. Kind of a good idea, because right, I never really thought of that. Because it should be wide enough to do it a mile away, that's the problem. And this thing could be on an angle. Well, you know it's on an angle. Oh, he has it ever on an angle. Oh, that's cool. Good idea. Thanks for that tip, man. Very nice. Because you don't have to mess around with it then. Aha! Okay, you're going to take that? You better take that. Alright. Well, we're up and running, guys. We'll get some uh, beehives made here. It's going to take probably a... Uh, it's not going to happen in this episode, but you might get a couple made. To fill all them, though, I think they take like six or eight hives each. These things are still banging around. I don't know what to do. I'm twitching. Thank God. Yeah, that was a good little hint. For sure. Now, I do believe that this only takes boards to get it up and running. It's a cool little animation of the guy running around in there, making the little hives. It's cool. If you haven't checked out that, check out that uh, mod review I did. I'm not familiar with this. Whole review on it. Alright. How much time do we got left? Oh, we still got 15 minutes. Good. Excellent, excellent. I don't know how much more they're going to take. Because the thing with this, it won't take a partial pallet. It needs a whole pallet or no. None. Oh, these are all sideways now. No, this one's not. How's that? Okay. Maybe we can muckle onto that. No, maybe we can't. Is that coming up? No, we can't even reach the pilot. Okay, that's alright. We can try to just push this guy out of the way for a moment. Get this straight dead. Oh, a side shift too. Nice. I probably knew that, but I just forgot. Oh, yeah, it's like a real forklift. It sounds funny, but I tried others in this game and they're very, very off. easier to use the front loader or the wheel loader. Okay, that's it for you. Let's check up on this dude. I'll make for a good screenshot as well. Hey bud, you busy? <laughs> Get at it. That's not too loud there guys. I uh, yeah somebody told me that too I can turn down my environmental noise. Uh, where, I'm in the shop here. What am I doing? Again. All my animals, look at that. Ba boom. We're just waiting on some corn now. Loving it. Okay. Uh, environmental noise. Let's turn that down a little bit. Hopefully, 30 seems good. We'll save that up. Alright, buddy. You got any made yet? Hurry the hell up. <laughs> It's not even registering yet, it's that un incomplete. Okay, no matter. We can uh, figure out where we're going to put the storefront. I keep going to the wrong button here. Okay, because there's a couple more things here to build yet. That's the one we just put down. 
There we have our beehives or our bee houses. And this is the okay. This is the place where you make the honey milk. So where can we put this at? Could just put it right here. Do I need access to the back of this building? No, I don't. Yeah, I can just wheel it in from the front. It's just fun. I don't know if I should put that next to the... Uh, I need to get a tanker in the other side there, too. Okay, let's turn this thing around. Turn me around. Well, that's not a bad little spot. Actually. Oh, it's not going to let me put it there? No way. I didn't even notice that part. You jerk. What? Are you telling me you're that picky? Wow. Maybe we'll put you over here. I'm not even going to take you there, eh? These uh, pallets here might be messing things up. Well, that sucks. Hmm. You serious? Like, why can't you go there? That doesn't make any sense. I don't need access to... Can you see it blink there for a second? No, probably not. Yeah. Okay. Right there. I don't think I gotta get around to the back, do I? No. Just to the side here. Okay. Come on, you. I had it a little closer than that. I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of room. Okay, that's good. Drive you guys nuts. It eats at me. <laughs> okay, a uh, little bit more forklift work here. So this guy's full, so we can boot this guy back up and start bringing some wood over to this guy. This is the one we have to build. See, I have to run into my arm here. I don't need access to that side. Oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh. We weren't supposed to do that. Let's, uh, go in our forks again. Alright, don't get silly now. This better take them. Pretty sure it did. I, I dropped trees there before and it wouldn't take them, but people were telling me it worked, so I must have just been uh, missing the spot. But this one seems, I'm pretty sure it'll just grab it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, guys. Oh, wait a minute. I hope I didn't mess up there. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm pretty sure. Find out when it's built, I have to tear it down again. There's our buddy hard at work. Hard at work he is. Along to this guy. Yeah, that's, that'll work. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Alright, so we won't take too long to sell this. And we can always sell the remain oh the remainder to uh somebody said you can make wood chips out of them or something. I thought. Because that was one of the reasons I got rid of it, because I didn't have a sell point for pallets, or like lumber. Pretty sure, like, I just built it to make the beehives, but I thought it said you needed lumber. Alright, let's push you in. I should just grab it anyway. Should. Yes. Much more. One or two more. That will be it. Can I 
отлично. done today, that's for sure. I forgot to check my cedar there, but I'll do it before I turn the, my, uh, the game off. I just want to get this last one over there anyway. I don't know if I'll time to get one more. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so I, no, it needs another one. Yeah, it needs another one, because there's ivy on the side when it's done, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, I can do it, I can do it. If I'm slick, take my time. So I've got about 30 seconds left. Don't panic. I mustn't panic. Yeah, I'm excited about that DLC coming out. I really want to try it out. That big bud looks awesome. Okay, that should be it. Are you serious? I might need one more, guys. I don't have the time to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Don't mind me. That's five minutes left. The way the light's hitting the uh, clock there. Oh, wow. Well, we got time. Good to see the five. Hey, Joe, he's hurt at it over there. What a boy. Okay. I just gotta watch when I'm turning because the uh, centrifugal force is pushing the pallet off. No? I thought there was ivy on the side when it was done. Oh well, I'm not complaining. You're done, you're done. Okay, let's take a look at this, see what's uh, going on in here. So, this is just waiting on milk and honey. From the land of milk and honey. Okay, no, I will go grab some milk. Since we're, uh, got five minutes left. Should have time to grab some milk really quick. I gotta remember that this is here, too. Right on, guys. We're moving right along here. I will move them soon. I don't need it right now. Oh, I left him right in the way, too. Oh, well. Double tanker of milk coming up. I don't think it'll hold that much, but we'll see what it can take. I gotta see what's in that uh, cargo bowl there. Should have one down by the berry patch. Okay, are we filled? Yes, we're filled. And I know the, uh, oh no, what? I'll check on it now since I'm right here. See if the dairy could use some. First up. Check on that. Oh, the sun is going down, guys. It's almost another day wrapped up here in Pine Cove. Um, milk. It's full. Everything else seems to be doing great. Good to hear. That's still running. And if, we, if we have some time, I will check the sugar factory there because... Oh, you know what? Before I go... I can do that too. I'm just going to fill up that, uh, dump some sugar beets in there. Because I think that's either empty or getting close to it. Oh, geez, there's more there than I thought. What was I thinking? Oh, well, I might as well top it off. Since they're, like, just sitting there. There we go. Ah, that didn't take too much. Okay. Some 
milk. I do believe it. Can you sell this at that one? I made the. I don't want to sell the milk. I'd rather make other product with it. Probably pays off more, I'd imagine. But we get a hundred cows. We seem to be uh, pumping out the milk quite well. We have two solid tankers here, full. Okay, I forget where you put the milk here. I think it might be right here. Yes. There we go. Get in there. Right on in the roof. In the roofing. See how much this takes, guys. Should have my beacons on here. And we're going to get some sweet, sweet honey milk. I'll probably get a yellow tanker for that. Oh, yeah. The fun's only just beginning here. I'm going to go to 50 episodes anyway with this because I really like this map. And I'm not in a big hurry, but I just, as long as people keep watching it, I will keep um, working on this. But uh, hopefully if I get enough patrons, I can get my multiplayer game up and running. So that would be interesting too. So, okay. He took that whole tanker? Wow. Okay, can you, do you want to take some of the other one now, please? Yup. Yeah. a boy. I wonder if he has a beehive made yet. No, he's slow on the draw. I you know what? I'd hire two or three if if I could. But that's okay. He can just plug away at that. That'll keep him busy for a while. Look at that! Wow, this holds quite a bit. Two full, well, a tanker and a half so far. A little over. For the next episode, I may uh, fast forward just to uh, the next morning. And then there'll be that much more work to do. But that's quite a right. Wow, you held all of that? That better not be uh, going to waste or anything crazy like that. What do we got left here, guys? About 15 seconds. I have time to just get this guy back over, I think. Get close to it. I don't want to wipe out here, though. I'm trying to do it. Oh, okay. I get it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's hold on. Let's pull him up beside our milk trigger here. And I will end this episode. I don't have to put it on the front one, don't I? Yes. Okay, guys. Well, we got quite a bit of work done there today. Let's uh, get rid of that. Okay, I can't get rid of that. But I can take flight. And wrap this up. So... I hope you made it to the end. If you did, well, obviously, if you're still here, you did. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And, uh, guys, if you want to uh, help donate to my Patreon, it's always really much appreciated. And uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I will bring you new mob reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. So guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.